recently so I'm, I'm trying to just move past it it's um, someone I had sex with stopped watching my Instagram stories <laughs> rude <laughs> rude uh, I don't do a lot of drugs um, which people find surprising because I look like I'm 20 years late to an audition for all that. I know that. Um, I know what vibe I'm bringing to the table. Okay, I get it. People always think I know where to buy ecstasy, and I absolutely do, because people are always trying to sell it to me. <laughs> I get the exchange rate, I see what's happening. Um, but I don't, uh, I want to. Really, it's more accurate to say that I have tried a lot of drugs and failed at all of them. I didn't know that was how it worked, but it does. But I, uh, it sucks, I used to, I used to try and use weed to impress people that I wanted to have sex with, which was very unfortunate because it turns me into someone that no one wants to have sex with. It's not, it starts out so sexy though, right? You're like, yeah, let's get high, that sounds chill. And then 20 minutes later, I'm like, is this the appropriate volume to be talking at? I can't find, I should probably ruin the party. It's not, it's not good. <laughs> I don't know. It's no, I don't know. Um, I'm okay with the way I look for the most part. I'm okay with the vibe that I'm bringing to the table. I've had sex in a graveyard. <laughs> Let me explain. I, I just, sometimes I miss the time in my life when that was surprising information to people. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I used to say that and people would be like, what? No way. Never would have guessed. And now they're like, yeah, Lane Bryant, reboot of the craft, we know, like that, okay, uh, but I am okay with the way I look, I gained some weight recently, but that's just a good way to make all your clothes a little bit sluttier, right? <laughs> 2019, bust them seams, uh, <laughs> I love this time of year because you can just say the year after anything, and that's like, okay, you know, you're like, I got a bikini wax, 2019, you know, that's a cute dog, 2019! Uh, it's great, um, but uh, it, the, the weight gain is weird because I, I used to be a model. That was my job for a long time. I actually got my start on America's Next Top Model, which is weird, but I don't have time to talk about that, but I was the plus size contestant, and then after that I worked for many years as a plus size model, and then I quit modeling, gained a bunch of weight, and became a plus size person. Weird how those aren't the same thing. <laughs> So weird, <laughs> so sticky wicket. Uh, <laughs> but it's just, I don't know, modeling is just such a weird, it's, it's a weird job to have. Uh, and it's been long enough since I quit that um, now when I bring that up, people are like, <laughs> <laughs> the sex in the graveyard thing I 100% believe, but I don't know, I don't know. Uh, but it, it's, such, it's, it's a weird, right, because I remember I used to go on set and then I would sit in makeup for an hour and a half. And then they would send me to hair and I would be in hair for another hour. And they would send me to the stylist who would pad my boobs and cinch my waist and pad my ass and hike me out on heels and send me out into the front of the photographer who would say, act natural. And I'd be like, I don't know what that is anymore. I don't, I don't know. Am I doing it? Is this, is this alluring? Uh, <laughs> A little more. Uh, I, um, oh man, people ask me all the time if I miss it. They're like, how could you quit? Don't you miss modeling? Don't you miss it? I don't, I don't miss it at all. What I do miss is um, attention. <laughs> Thank you so much for giving it to me. 
It's my favorite thing. Uh, but now I get attention on Instagram, which is great. Um, that's where, that's why you should all watch my stories. Um, I, uh, I really want to be an Instagram thought. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't know if you know a thought. It means it's T-H-O-T. -T. It stands for that hoe over there. I want that hoe to be me. <laughs> Here's the other thing that I found out. Since I've gained the weight, when I post a slutty picture on Instagram, it's brave. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. Some people would be offended. I am into it, okay? Like, who's that hoe over there? Oh, she's so brave. <laughs> I, just want, I just want enough followers on Instagram that I can post a slutty picture and a serious caption. <sighs> Could you imagine? You must feel high, right? Oh my god, just to be like, oh, uh, Black Lives Matter. Oh god! Oh, that's what I want! I want it so bad. I uh, used to be gay, and I still am as well. <laughs> that is how that works. <laughs> but I used to be full gay, you know, and then, um, I just decided to suck a dick. I don't, I don't know a better way to put that. Uh, I don't know. But once you open that floodgate, right, it's just... You <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's weird because I now I don't know what to call myself. It's been a long time. Like, I should figure it out, you know? But I don't know. I used to have such a comfortable label, and now I don't... And the part of the problem is that I don't like the term bisexual. Number one, gender is a spectrum, okay? Number two, when I was growing up, that meant slutty. Which I am, but that's for me to know and a bunch of people to find out. You know what I mean? Like, that's how I want to give away the ghost. Uh, and then my friends are like, Sarah, come on, it's 2019. You see how I did that? Didn't even, didn't even flinch. Went, didn't even say 2018 for a second. 2019. 2019, Janelle Monet, you can be pansexual now. And I was like, oh, that sounds like a scary airline. I don't want to. I'm not ready. I'm not ready! I'm not. I don't know. It also means, like, sleeping with women and then sleeping with men means that I am not very patient with men. You guys get up to some bullshit and I'm not here for it, okay? Because I know that I don't have to be, all right? Like, I've explored the other side. Like, I can, you know what I mean? It's like... I have that option in my pocket at all times, and it's fantastic. Like, I have that option in my, you know what I'm saying? Okay, uh, vagina's, oh, you got it, you got it, you guys are smart. Um, I was just wait, like, if a guy is complaining to me about having to wear a condom, I'm like, you listen here, young man. You are gonna wear that condom, and you are gonna eat every bite, and you are gonna love it, okay? Because there are starving lesbians in Africa that have to put on a whole dick. They gotta step in, they gotta hike it up. It really ruins the rhythm, okay? I'd be grateful for that condom. I don't know where I lost you there. Was it the gratitude? Are we not grateful for condoms anymore? Are the kids on it? I don't know. What are the kids into these days? Butt stuff, right? Lord. Kids are into butt stuff. I don't know. Like, right away. Right away, guys will just. And here's the thing: I'm gonna, I wanna talk about some basics here. If you have a penis, there's a button up your butt that makes you feel amazing and complicated. I know, so complicated, but amazing. Oh, if you have a vagina, which I do. You don't have a button <laughs> up your butt that makes you feel amazing. So stop pushing it. I'm sorry I made intense eye contact, but stop trying to push that button. What are you doing up there? I know that you have complicated feelings because you want us to push your button. But if you can't ask for that, you don't get it. I went very squeaky there and I heard it. I'm hearing your I get. I it got angry and I thank you for your feedback. Um, <laughs> I know. It's, I, it's also, I think I gotta work on the men that I'm attracted to. Because I find that I don't like the way that men talk about sex. Or anything. Am I right? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not. I'm kidding. I'm not. Uh, it's just, I, I, again, maybe 
it is the men that I'm attracted to. Because once a guy said to me, like, oh, girl, I'm going to get up in your guts. Which guts? Only some are for you. Should we draw a map or make a plan or something? And then one time a guy said he was going to wreck my pussy. I was like, no, I need it for later. <laughs> Could I get some saran wrap or something? I have it. One time a guy told me that his dick looked like a baby arm. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> like, if you tell me that your penis looks like a baby arm, you better have a child's arm attached to your crotch. Do you understand? There better be elbow dimples that I can pinch. <laughs> I've had a fully grown Lebanese woman's arm inside me. I don't give a shit about your baby arm, okay? I fist myself for fun. Do you want I don't give. You're gonna wreck my pussy. Okay. It's built to push a human out, but you're gonna wreck it, Kevin. Alright. <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, what else to, what else do I have? I just got so distracted uh, thinking about Kevin. All right. Uh, <laughs> slut shaming doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, it's, uh, cause here's the thing. I, uh, I, I work for Lady Parts Justice League, which is an amazing organization. <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. They're great. Uh, and uh, we, we went on an abortion tour, which sounds like a lot more fun than it is. Um, not that it wasn't fun, it just sounds like we had a bunch of unprotected sex all around the country, and then we were like, what are you gonna do about it, Milwaukee? Um, <laughs> but <laughs> we were going to clinics, like right, uh, independent abortion clinics, and I love talking to the people that come to clinics and protest. Oh my God, I love it so much. Because I was raised in a super liberal part of the country, very small town right, like 700 people, my graduating class was 13, it was a hippie shenanigans, right, like, like we took Latin, but there was no football team, I don't know if that's painting a picture, um, so, and also I'm Jewish, but was raised nothing, so when they're like, have you heard the good news, I'm like, I sure haven't, <laughs> what, oh, it's always Jesus, always Jesus, ever, okay, well, all right, um, <laughs> but I, I love talking to them, um, but, the, the thing that always just gets me is the slut shaming because it just doesn't make any sense to me because having sex with a bunch of people is not what made me a slut. It was specific moments and I saw them coming and everything slowed down and then I was like, oh girl, you're a little slutty. And those moments are beautiful, you know, and fuck you for trying to take that away from me. Um, I'll give you an example because uh, that's how this works. Um, <laughs> I was having sex with a guy, right? And, uh, and he was doing his thing, and I was like, okay. And he kept saying my name, like a lot, like, oh, Sarah, oh, God, like every five seconds. And I was like, huh, I am not in a name saying place. He is not laying name saying pipe. <laughs> but if I was in a name-saying place, it's like definitely Jake or Jason, like for sure one of the two. I had a 50% chance there, and Jason was pretty mad when I got it wrong. Um, he's pretty mad. <laughs> um, I talk a big slut game, uh, but I actually am married. Uh, <laughs> I just don't want to rewrite my material. <laughs> you, my husband really wishes he would. Uh, I mean, wishes I would. What it means when you uh, are gay and then marry a man is that uh, my dad is very confused. <laughs> That's what that means. He's trying so hard. He just wants to be supportive. <laughs> oh, he keeps asking my husband, did you know she's gay? And he's like, yeah, I know, I know. We talked about it. It came up. Uh, she yelled at me a lot. Uh, she told me to eat a condom. I don't know. Uh, it came up. Uh, I don't know. Wait, who's been married for three months? Is that you guys? I'm, so, I'm not going to be mean. That's awesome. No, I just was wondering, like, did, did you guys find, like, when you first got married, and that's like, like, for the first, like, six months, I just kept thinking, like, if you die, I would be a widow. 
God, I couldn't stop thinking that. I don't know, just me? Okay, okay. No, I just wanted to bond. That's okay. No, all right. That's just me. That's fair. Uh, it's a graveyard thing. It happens. Um, you have sex in the graveyard, it, come, it comes to mind. Um, I don't know. Marriage is so weird, though. Because, like, well, how long were you guys together before you got married? Five years. Five years. Okay, so that's, it's... But like, you're still, it's interesting when you've been together for a long time, but you're still kind of young, right? Like, I don't know, my husband and I, like, we still do it, you know? Like, we, we do it. Uh, it's just, it's hard because the urgency isn't there anymore, right? It's never like, I have to have you now. It's like, I have to have you now or later. There's Netflix, you're around, we lock this shit down. Like, that's fine, you're there. And it's also, I, I think I didn't realize how much room there was in a marriage, you know? It's amazing. Like, in one day, I can be amazed at how much I love him. And I can be like, oh my God, you are the smartest person I have ever met. How are you so stupid? Like, how is he so stupid, you know? And like, we're in this very cuddly place, right? It's cold, we're snuggling, we're, right? And then at the same time, like, we are waging several wars that neither of us has to surrender, you know? Like, there are two glasses in my kitchen. I am never cleaning them. It's his turn. We said till death, motherfucker. I'm not do Like, the toilet paper has not been on the toilet paper holder for some I'm not doing it. I said till death, motherfucker. You know what I mean? Like, oh, it's amazing. It's so weird. Uh, and like marriage is, is huge, right? It's a really big deal, like unless it's not. Like it's, no, it's so big, oh my God, like it's huge, like unless you get divorced, you know? But it's, oh my God, like it's such a big deal, like 50%, like, but it's huge. My husband hates this joke and I think you're with him and that's fair. Um, he hates it so much. <laughs> I, uh, I also took a workout class right before this, so I need to take a sip of water. Um, I took a uh, reggae dance hall class. Woo! Yeah, it was humbling. <laughs> it was very humbling, oh man. I thought, oof, I was like, man, this is amazing. I was looking around at all the women, different shapes and sizes, I was like, God, this is great, this is amazing. Everybody is beautiful and a wonder. And mine is a sack of pudding, oh God. It's like the instructor's hair had better rhythm than I did. It's just, cause here's the thing, I'm a, I'm a tall drink of water that also goes sideways. You know what I mean? Like I, oof, I, uh, like I said my arm out there, I don't know when it's coming back. You know, I don't, I don't know what it's doing out there. It's just, I'm not responsible. It's like, whoo, get, oh. And people are always like, Sarah, you used to be a model, like models are good at being sexy. Do you want to see a really hard day at work for me when I was a model? I'm going to show you this little insight. This is a really hard day at work for me as a model. <laughs> that's it. Okay, I, My strong suits are standing still and having big boobs. That's what I got. Like that's all, I don't know. But I am like, oh, I'm trying really hard. Everyone's like, yeah, body positivity. And I'm like, oh, let's, let's shoot for body neutral. <laughs> Let's coast, my friends, that sounds great. Uh, but I'm trying to get into it. I used to hate being tall. I, I hated it so much. Um, but now I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'm a, I'm a big ass bitch. Like this is, it, I would be a real hassle to rape. It'd be a fucking thing, you know? You need like a buddy or a weapon or a plan. <laughs> Dega rape. I'm not an impulse rape. You know, I'm like, get the friends together, rent a car, go to Kmart. <laughs> That's an exceptionally weird joke to leave you guys on. Uh, but I'm going to do it. Because you're great. Thank you so much for paying attention to me.